Welcome, you're watching the flip store rundown where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Have you ever noticed around the holiday season that people start eating a little more indulgently, step by step, holiday after holiday? You know, a little more fat, a little more calories, a little more butter, a little more sugar, cholesterol city. And at the end of the day, we all look like bloated pumpkins because of it. It's not good for our waistlines, it's not good for our souls. And I know, I wanted to talk. You've probably seen my figure on this channel a few times. I probably should work out at home more. Anyway, since we're not that into the holiday season just yet, I figured we should take a step back just a little while longer and continue focusing on healthy alternatives. And for those who have healthy appetites and want to keep them that way, this cookbook is going to be the one for you. Because the host of Food Network's Healthy Appetite Ellie Krieger has got the food you crave. Luscious recipes for a healthy life. I picked it up for 25% off the price of $4.99 and it retails for $28 stateside. $33 in Canada. This is from the Taunton Press. Inspiration for hands-on living. Crave it. Make it. Enjoy it. You know what I crave more than anything else, and I know many of you crave the same? Pizza! Last weekend on TSR, we covered several reasons why October is such an awesome month to be a foodie. This weekend, we're doing the same. Did you know that October is National Pizza Month? No lie. You want to check out the National Day calendar? I'll link that below because that thing is wicked. To that end, we're going to be focusing on four pizza recipes in here, the only four pizza recipes in this cookbook. Each one of them, like all the recipes in this cookbook, coming with a complete nutritional analysis, so you know exactly what you're consuming. And of course, how many servings they'll make. And the majority of these recipes in here serve an average family of four. So he also gives you the appropriate serving size, if you will. We're talking about pizza, so... In the case of this mushroom, onion, and basil pizza, two slices seems like a perfectly acceptable amount. Why order in a pizza where you can have this sumptuous, fresh out of the oven mushroom pizza on your table in less time? Besides, you can't get one this good delivered with its sun-dried tomatoes, sweet red onion, fresh basil, and two cheese toppings. Oh yeah. This is not about deprivation. This is about moderation. And... Adulation on a part of every single person who will consume such a delicacy like that after you make it. That's how delicious this sounds. By the way, you'll see a lot of notes just like this. Cheese rules. What kind of cheeses to look for to top your pizza? Choose ones that are naturally low in fat. Skip non-fat and use reduced fat cheese where it works. Non-fat stuff across the board is tasteless and has horrible textures. I know that from America's Test Kitchen, the gods and goddesses of home cookery for television, in my opinion. So, uh, there are rules. And it looks like Ellie Figa is adhering to those rules, so good on for her. So, skip non-fat altogether. No fat equals no flavor. And you want flavor, right? Come on. Okay, we're not talking about deprivation. We're talking about moderation. And more importantly... Adulation for your waistline and for your taste buds. Tubulation for both parties. You get me? A little goes a long way. So, she offers up tasty ideas for healthy grab and go breakfast and mid afternoon snacks, as well as useful tips on ingredients, going organic, and easy ways you can change your eating habits. So, you can find those in here too. Let's talk about this tomato, uh, olive, and parmesan pizza. Nutritional analysis over here. I love the simplicity and crystal clear flavors of this pizza. And remember, if you use less fat, it's a proven bet that you can actually taste the clear flavors of the fruits and the veggies that you add to whatever you're making here a bit more, with a lot more clarity. When a dish has this few ingredients, each one needs to bring a lot to the table. So make sure you use the freshest, highest quality products. When you're on a healthy diet, high quality ingredients is so fundamental. High on seasoning. 
looking for ingredients that are high in fiber, high in protein, high in monounsaturated fat, the good kind versus saturated fat, the bad kind, and polysaturated fat, somewhere in the middle. As he gives you tips on looking out for those ingredients. Arugula, caramelized onion, and goat cheese pizza. Nutritional analysis right over here. The key to this pizza is cooking the onions very slowly over low heat so the sugars develop and caramelize. Their sweet flavor and purple color is the perfect foil for this peppery ribbons of arugula and tiny creamy goat cheese studded pizza. All photography in this cookbook, by the way, is by Christopher Husma, who is a female photographer, by the way. Christopher Husma. Female? Is it Christopher a boy's name? You know what? With all the he, she, and gender pronunciations, you know, taking political course. <sighs> it's best not to dwell on that too much, lest I get an angry mob on my case. Final pizza. Black bean Mexican style pizza. It is a sort of stretch to call this a pizza. Either way, I want to call this delicious. And Ellie says I know it well. Hmm. Uh, the tortilla is spread with spicy black bean dip and crowned with cabbage that's salt and slightly but cooked while still retaining a nice crunch. A sprinkle of fresh cilantro adds color and a bright citrusy flavor. No cheese. No cheese. Oh well. Let's just go ahead and skim through this book. I've only seen like a couple of episodes of Healthy Appetite with Ellie Krieger. And I did see an interview on YouTube with her and the legendary Marlo Thomas, who also has a YouTube channel on her own. Yeah, Marlo Thomas, a YouTuber. Ever heard of that one? It is a really cool YouTube channel, by the way. And I just picked it up because, well, it was there at the thrift store, and I didn't want it to go to waste. It was just sitting in storage for a long time, and nobody would get a chance to read it or review it on YouTube. So, uh, this is a TSR exclusive. How about that? And for Ellie Krieger's debut on the Thrift Star One Down, you did fairly well. Four and a half out of five claps. Not bad, Ellie Krieger. Those who have a healthy appetite and value life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for their waistlines and their taste buds will find the food you crave to be a crave worthy addition to their cookbook library. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.